If that if dragging your feet and doing the bare minimum is is a work ethic to you, boy, let me tell you something. And you want to know something? That's another trademark of 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 hustling and independence is your work ethic. I get an example. I remember when I first came back, right, and I and I passed I passed the last spring semester. But then the fall, this fall semester that just passed, right? That's the semester I dropped out again. And actually, I re-enrolled, so I'm about to be taking a couple summer classes and stuff like that. That's a whole different story for another day. Now, when I had a class, right, we had a project, some shit. It was like some presentation for, I don't even remember the class. All I remember is when we was in the planning process of the fucking project, um, the teacher showed an example of what got like a B or, or a B plus or an A or something like that. She showed an example. All right, this this is what I'm looking for, essentially. Like, okay, this is blah, 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 right? Now, I don't even think the teacher says this is what she's looking for. I think she just showed an example. As we're going to plan our project, they did the bare minimum based on the standard that the teacher set. So as we're planning this shit out, we all coming up with these. I'm exchanging ideas. The girl, One of the girls was literally like, um, well, I don't think we need to do all that because when she put this on the board, she only did that. So blah blah blah. You don't think like that when you when you have a business, when you have a when you have work ethic, when you when you have a fucking big dream. That's not how you think. You don't think, um, well, they only did that, so I'm gonna I'm only do that and I'm gonna do enough, just enough to get blah blah blah. Like, that's, that's never enough. You're never satisfied. You're always trying to fucking up the bar. You're always trying to figure out how to improve. You, like, you just, you don't think like that. And it's crazy because as I went back to school, it was like, I, it was like, it was like toxic weight. It's, it's like that shit like rubbing off on you. Like, I, I remember, I never forget when she said that. Like, ew. I'm like, imagine thinking of, thinking like that creatively. Like, you, you shut your whole creativity down just so you could do the bare minimum. You don't even want to enjoy the process of what the fuck the project is. She just said, let me do the bare minimum to pass or, or at least get what I need. And I was like, damn, bro. This, this is really how most people live their life. The bare minimum, doing what needs to be done and just getting by, dragging their feet. So that shit, that, that's the, it's even depressing for me to think about. They send you through law school, medical school, just to see if you're going to show up two years and slave to earn that status. Exactly. <clears throat> Who would be some people? Who, I, mean, I admit I'd be doing that in university. I did that when I before I was in school. But then when I started to run this and have this work the way I wanted to, you can't. You don't even think like that, bro. Because guess what? At the end of the day, somebody else going to work harder than you. And, and when they do, their video going to hit the algorithm. They're going to go viral. or Or they'll buy that car first. I think it was something that literally, um, it was it was one of it was a, it was something my friend told me that that he said Andrew Tate said, and he was like, and I never even saw the clip directly, so I'm just quoting this from my friend. He said something like, um, "When you broke and when you poor, you think nobody got money. You think everybody's broke and poor, but when you get money, that's when you realize like a lot. There is a lot of people that have money, 